now we take a look at how Tsuji volunteers have helped Typhoon Haiyan survivors in the Philippines return their lives to normal. Volunteers in the central Philippines are only making progress thanks to love pouring in from every corner of the world. Welcome to Dial Headlines, I'm Helen Nell. thank you for joining us. One of the worst natural disasters in history, Typhoon Haiyan, left a trail of destruction and death throughout the central Philippines. Tsuji volunteers arrived quickly and implemented its cash for work program in Tagloban to jumpstart the local economy, restore a sense of normalcy in the survivor's life and clean up the city. Numerous free clinics were also held to service the victims. Plus, Tsuji has completed building nine prefabricated classrooms in Chingat and handed out eight packages in the form of cash and supplies to the victims. We are dedicating today's program to Tsuji's disaster relief efforts in the Philippines and how the disaster survivors have been affected as a result. On November 8th, Super Typhoon Haiyan made landfall in the central Philippines around 4 in the morning, bringing death and destruction. More than 5,000 lives were lost and over 4.3 million people became homeless. To help the storm victims of Tagloban City clean up their neighborhoods and rebuild, Tsuji decided to launch its cash for work program. However, many residents were at first skeptical at an organization that pays them to clean up their own streets. Last night when they received their money, I'm sure everybody saw it. So now they say, we believe Tsuji. So they are here today. Tsuji Foundation. The Tsuji Foundation let us know that we need to work if we want to make a change. This is a great way to provide working opportunities for us, so there is no looting. We get to earn money and help our community and environment. Quickly, the number of participants increased from 500 to eventually over 30,000. The income gives these a means to restart their lives. Buying the things in their house because my house is broken all. No more. So I spend the money to buy things. Buy for the materials. Uh, for foods every day. As more people begin to rebuild in Tagloban, hardware suppliers make sure they have enough nails to sell. Before Tsuji's cash for work program was in place, no one bought nails. But now that the program is carried out, people have money again and can buy nails to repair their roof. To provide immediate medical attention to Typhoon Haiyan survivors, Tima members from home and abroad join in a free clinic held in Tagloban City. We have to seize the opportunity to help the less fortunate. In the disaster areas, you have to improvise with whatever resources you have on site. When we heard about the typhoon here, our heart is very hurt. It's so wonderful. We can, I mean, we can give them love, hope. We all come here to support them. That they are not alone. We all family. That's we are Chuchi family. That doctor is very nice to me. She cares for me like I am her family. This is a 75-year-old pediatrician from Cebu. Despite his age, he still did his best to help needy patients at Tsuji's free clinics. Following the two-day free clinic in Tagloban, he immediately joined Tsuji volunteers in the aid distributions in Tunga. In total, he took part in five free clinics. We'll be happy to give a treatment to treat the people, it's a sort of a highlight in our life that we can help them. A victim of Haiyan, Dr. Chen Mei Mei, decided to return to the disaster zone to join in the volunteers' ranks. They need a lot of help and, and as, as Tacloban people also, we want to come back and, and be a blessing to these people in this place. Um, therefore, we decided to come back even for just a few days to be of help. In the aftermath of the devastating storm, 7,000 schools in the country were forced to close. At the Tunga Elementary School, some children are still able to attend music classes as the typhoon did not destroy all the buildings. Yeah. 
to help the crew who helped construct classrooms for the 921 project hope in Taiwan have arrived at Tunga ready to set up prefab classrooms. Uh, With our past experience, we tested the ground and found a school field to be solid and large enough to hold night classrooms, so the center point will be the flagpole. For the principal Amali Lawson, these prefabricated classrooms have arrived just in time. Because that building is only 8 and classes, so in, uh, we have 35 pupils per class. So Sir Jimmy told us that one tenth uh, could be occupied by 70 pupils. So 9 divided by 2, we'll, we will have 8 and classrooms. Eight and classes will occupy the nine tenths. Other than setting up prefabricated classrooms at Tunga, a disaster assessment team made up by 30 city volunteers arrived in Taklopan City. First of all, we want to show local government officials what prefab classrooms look like. Second, we want to teach local volunteers how to put these classrooms together. Using a thousand screws, a prefab classroom can be assembled in two hours with the help of 15 people. Throughout our research and development, we kept in mind Mr. Zheng Yan's initial reminders to us. We are not only providing for survivors, it has to be suitable for ourselves as well. In the future, these classrooms can also be used as temporary shelters in case of an emergency. In the village of Tunga in Li province, as city volunteers lead the villagers in prayer, many couldn't hold back their tears because after enjoying much hardship, help has finally come. No other organization has held a distribution here in Tonga. It has mostly been in Tagloban and Omak, so we felt the need to come here and help them out. Blankets, mosquito nets, straw mattresses and rice bring temporary relief to the affected survivors. City volunteers also brought donations for the families affected by Typhoon Haiyan. In the end, 1,752 families received a total of some 21 million Philippine pesos or nearly 480,000 US dollars from Tsuji. We are so thankful for your help. Ako? You asked me if I am happy. I am extremely happy. What's out? My home was washed away, but everybody is safe and sound. I'm grateful for the assistance Tsuji provided us. The money they receive now, they are going to buy zinc sheets for the roofing of their houses and start a new life. Besides cash, survivors also receive a letter filled with blessings of all Tsuji members around the world. I cried as I read this letter because we have been selected by Tsuji. Volunteers are here to help us who endured hardships. Besides cash and supplies, beginning November 26, Tsuji's instant rice meals have been made available to cash forward participants. Upon receiving the hot food, the residents are all in smiles. Did you like it? Delicious. Delicious. I am very happy to have something to eat. Besides, the food you provided us is easy to take away. I will bring this bag of rice back home and share it with my family. Thank you very much for the hot meal. It's a great help. Thanks to Tsuji volunteers' hard work, a sense of normalcy is beginning to return to Lei province here in the Philippines. At first, those in the Philippines who suffered the wrath of Typhoon Haiyan were lost and disoriented. Most importantly, without a sense of direction and outside aid, they simply felt helpless in the face of such calamity. Thankfully, aid arrived among the group of international aid agencies was the Tsuji Foundation, which helped clean up the hard-hit Tagloban city and successfully restore hope and love to the area. Here's our in-depth report. Since the Tsuji Philippines chapter implemented the Cash for Work program in Tacloban, not only have streets in the city become cleaner, it has also inspired many program participants to sign up as volunteers instead, while some has even given up their pay to help those in greater need. You Tsuji volunteers don't even know us, yet you are helping us. 
This makes me want to help my fellow people too. Even if I don't get paid, it's all right. I'm so happy. Even my my husband was enjoying because he managed the new the new registration. The Magallanes is cleaned already. So one worker said it is the new hero. The new hero in Tacloban is the two T. Perhaps one day these good people will become the next Evangeline, a Tiji volunteer from Marikina who has been serving here in Tacloban for over two weeks. Formerly also a typhoon survivor, Evangeline says it is her calling to help those in greater need. We have seen how Master Denyan shows her love to us Filipinos. Thank you, Master, for tending to all the residents and volunteers in the Philippines. This is Evangeline's first time taking part in relief work representing Tsiji. Therefore, she cherishes this opportunity the most and does her best to help those in need. As a Tsiji commissioner, I know that it's my responsibility to help Master Denyan carry out Tsiji missions. The disaster in Takloban reminds these Marikina volunteers of their own personal experience with Typhoon Ketsana in 2009 and motivates them forward. With a heart filled with gratitude, 16 year old Mario presented a letter of thanks to Tsiji. She wrote in her neat and tidy handwriting, Tsuji taught us to walk forward. She even composed a song dedicated to Tsuji. Residents express their gratitude to volunteers through writing and song. Taos puso po kami ng nagpapasalamat sa tulong at suporta na ibinigay niyo sa mga taklobanon. Kayo ang nagbigay ng lakas at pag-asa para makabangon ang takloban. And the two words "tsiji" has become a cheerful local residence, even those who don't know how to speak Chinese. It felt like the end of the world. We had no one to turn to, no food and no job. Only when you arrived did we feel that there is still hope. From your support, then we can go beyond the limitation and we can go ready over and we can really make the miracle happen in the world. At a recent financial aid distribution in Tunga, 80-year-old Virginia realized she had received more money than she was supposed to and immediately returned to the event with her granddaughter to give back the extra money to Tsiji volunteers. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping not only us, but the diplomatic. Volunteers then visited this honest family and saw how easily they could have kept the extra money for repairs, but didn't. It's not money that we earned, so we can't keep it. Thank you for Taiwan. Thank you. Chuchi Foundation. Thank you. Tiji volunteers can feel the family's modest demeanor and wish for them to quickly return to normal. Bye. Thank you, Chuchi Foundation. As Takloban's Barangay 58 suffered more extensive damage during Typhoon Haiyan, to speed up recovery efforts, many former cash for work participants from other barangays arrived here to lend a helping hand. We are concerned because the cash for work program will soon come to an end, but there is still a large area which we still need to tend to. There are many people still suffering here that need our help, so we came up with a more convenient solution. We mobilized residents from other barangays to help out. If the people to work of course for one seven days is very clean in our barangay. So I thanks to the Chuchi and uh, in our barangay is the founder. One of founder in uh, in Anibong. Sir Michael want to help our people. He uh, he had a good heart to help our people. So our people here in Tacloban uh, uh, benefit uh, the goodness of the foundation. Yes, ma'am. So that's why I am uh, volunteering to help the foundation.
Thanks to Taiwan's City Foundation, the Cash for Work program helped improve the lives of local residents, giving them the strength to move on. City has given us a huge push. Although our house is gone, we can still get back on our feet because Tsuji gave us wages for cleaning up our own community. They asked us not to gamble, drink or smoke. I listened to their advice. Check this out, Tsuji gave me 500 Philippine pesos and I used the money all to buy food for my family. For the residents of Takoban, the key to recovery is Tsuji. Tsuji volunteers told me not to get angry. I remember that I used the $500 to buy food to feed my kids, as well as some repair materials for the roof and a lot of nails. Thank you, Tsuji. I will keep on smiling. Regardless of the havoc wreaked by the merciless disaster, thanks to the Filipinos' optimistic nature and seeds of compassion planted by Tsuji volunteers, the circle of love continues here in the Philippines. Tsuji's ongoing typhoon Haiyan relief efforts in the central Philippines would not have been possible without tens of thousands of volunteers canvassing for donations worldwide. It also would not have been possible without thousands of volunteers from all over the world on the ground at the front line in the Philippines who carried out the actual relief work. Some 40 countries around the globe have mobilized to fundraise for typhoon Haiyan survivors in the Philippines. I feel the suffering of the disaster victims because I am from Lake Province too. I will donate to help the typhoon survivors in the Philippines because the Canadian government will donate a dollar for every dollar of donation received. People in the Philippines, we are really sorry what's happened, right? We, we will do anything. I love our, I love Philippines and I love all of you, so just be strong. They might have lost their families, which is really sad. I want to let them know that there are many of us here supporting them. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Um, Suu Kyi, um, Suu Kyi we are all people in this global village and we should help one another. Those in the Philippines are people, we Chinese are also people, we are all people of God. While Tsuji volunteers worldwide mobilized to canvas for donations for high-end survivors, another group of volunteers have taken the front line in the Philippines contributing their strength and serving as the survivor's greatest pillar of support in this turmoil time. You. Using simple English and her body language, Taiwan Tsuji volunteer Luo Meizhu tries her best to communicate with the locals. In the aftermath of the deadly storm, Luo immediately traveled to the Philippines to help. We need water to wash clothes, cook meals and many things. These five boys over here have been fetching the water for us. He's very sweet and thoughtful. He comes with us to purchase groceries and helps me carry the food. Through joining the Cash for Work program, I have learned to work with others. Now I know that I have to cherish everything I have and don't waste money. <laughs> to gain a better understanding of the young helper's living environment, Luo decided to visit their families. If I didn't visit their families, I wouldn't know that their homes were also severely damaged by the typhoon. After the home visitation, Luo Meizhu encounters two children selling toast along the street. Although Luo wants to purchase the toast to help, she did not have any pesos in hand. Thankfully, Gennaro decided to help. You want this? You want? You want? I will pay this for you. Ah, you have very, very much money. <laughs> Upon receiving the special gift from Gennaro, Luo breaks into a smile as she knows that the seeds of love has started to flourish in Gennaro's heart. Bye bye. To further the recovery efforts in Tacloban of the Philippines, Tsuji volunteer Yang Guo Ying from Manila managed to borrow some heavy vehicles to help clear away the debris on the street. Okay. 
Too many natural disasters in the Philippines. Poor Filipinos, we need to hurry up. We need to do as much as possible to help the needy. Yang also asked his friend to help with the shipment of Tsuji's monetary aid for cash for work participants. The captain says he knows well that his mission is to help people. This is already his second trip. We gave him a Tsuji flag to hang on his ship the last time. We now call this the Tsuji ship. With the assistance of heavy equipment, the streets of Takloban were soon cleaned up. This is what we do. We feel happy to see a little improvement. Next, Yang continues to help local schools complete the installation of Tsuji's prefabricated classrooms. As Master Zheng Yan's disciples, we have to complete Tsuji's missions on her behalf. We cannot stop. At this Castro Work Program site, Tsuji volunteer Liu Jiyu from Singapore leads Takloban residents in a chair. These disaster survivors all put their best into the recovery efforts. While cleaning their own homes and communities, they can also turn to each other for comfort and support. As a result, the morale of the entire city has been lifted. Because of Tsuji's cash for work program, what was once a vast wasteland is now slowly reviving. Seeing the gradual transformation of the city, Liu says all the hard work has been worthwhile. You buy food? Yeah, but no! But don't, don't overspending, okay? When we handed out their pay, we would emphasize to him repeatedly that this money isn't their salary or wage. Instead, what they are really getting in return is Tsuji's care. The disaster survivor said, the subsidies you have given us will eventually be depleted. However, you continue to comfort us with your great love and provide us with practical assistance. Your compassion is something that will remain in our hearts forever. We came to the disaster area, trying our best to help and comfort the disaster survivors. We put compassion and wisdom into practice, as Master Zhen Yan told us. When it comes time to leave, as one foot steps forward, the other one must also learn to let go. This worldwide outpour of love is sure to give these typhoon survivors the strength, courage and means to go on. We stay in the Philippines at the end of the show. Thanks to the help of countless city volunteers, non-prefabricated classrooms have now been erect at the ground of Tungad Elementary School. To express her gratitude, two days prior to the completion, the principal of the school thoughtfully cooked delicious Filipino food for the volunteers. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for watching our headlines. Goodbye.